Let's put these system calls into action to look at the first of several file copy programs that we'll be seeing in this module. I'm defining here a buffer size. This is the size of the chunks that we'll use to read and write the file in as we copy it. Um, I've made it a multiple of the block size, which will probably help improve efficiency a little bit. Here are my input and output file handles, and here I declare the buffer. So we open the input file, uh, foo here, I'm hardwiring the file names in, in this case. Uh, this is being opened uh, for reading. Uh, we're testing for an error return, as we looked at in the previous module. And in the same way, I'm opening a file called bar uh, for writing, uh, here specifying to create the file if it doesn't exist with mode 644. Now, all the really exciting stuff happens in this loop. Uh, this is another example of the uh, perform, assign and test idiom that we discussed in the previous module. In this case, what we're performing is we're reading B-size bytes in from the input file into the buffer. We were assigning the count that that gave us back into count and we're testing to see if it's positive. If it is, in the body of the loop, which is just that one write statement, we write that number of bytes out to the output file. And we continue to loop until the read returns zero, telling us that we've reached the end of the file. When that happens, we fall out of the loop and we close both the file descriptors. So that's it for the code. Let's compile it. There's the command. That didn't take long. And um, what we'll do is we'll create uh, an input file foo using the uh, good old random number generator in Linux and the dd command. Something like this. Now, if you're not familiar with the dd command or the urandom uh, pseudo device, it doesn't really matter. We're just writing um, a one megabyte file uh, of effectively random data here. Let's just have a look. Make sure that at least it looks like it's the right length. Now, if I run my copy program, we should find that we have a file called bar as well. Yes, we do, and they are the same size, which is encouraging. If we compare them, we get no output. And this is one of those cases where no news is definitely good news because it means that the two files are identical. So this program seems to be working fine.